Hello, let's get one thing out of the way. You might be wondering why there's an American flag behind me. There just is, okay? I felt like having an American and its flag in the background. Yeah, look at it. It's patriotic as frig. <sighs> Moving on. I made a video recently about things guys shouldn't do. Yeah, well guess what? There's been a bunch of things happening that I think girls shouldn't be doing. Girls and or, as I would call this particular type of girl, a crazy bitch. I think first and foremost what I want to say to girls is you need to freaking relax. Just relax, okay? Girls tend to freak the hell out if a guy doesn't like them. And they get all emo. Guys they barely know. And they make these broad assumptions about society about how men don't like big girls and wop. <sighs> Take it from me, I know that there's plenty of men that, uh, don't mind a bigger woman, but the point is, is that maybe he doesn't like you because you're a crazy bitch. Maybe it's because you're clingy and weird. Why don't you stop being clingy and weird? That, that might fix things. Sorry, I hope I'm not offending anybody. I'm just saying that when you get clingy and weird, then you might get desperate and start dating a guy who's no good for you just because he gives you the least bit of attention and he may or may not have a drug problem. And then we have to awkwardly pretend to like him just because we're your friend and then we gotta act surprised when he does something douchey like robbing your house. In any event, I'm getting off track here a little bit. Some things up, girls, you gotta relax. You're gonna be fine being single. You don't need your self-worth to depend on whether or not you're dating somebody. Your self-worth should depend on how well blended your makeup is and how well you follow my instructions. Can you not be a crazy bitch after the breakup too? There's a couple of pointers, a couple of tips I just want to throw out there. Yeah, after a guy breaks up with you because you suck and you're crazy, you shouldn't threaten to sue him for all the gifts that you gave him. That's not how it works. You can't sue somebody for a gift, you dumb bitch! The only gift you can sue for is one where there might be an expectation involved. Like an engagement ring. Not a camera, dumbass! And if a guy breaks up with you and you feel like he was just being a dick and you're in the right, why don't you handle it like a class act? Why don't you not do something crappy? Recently had a friend of mine who went through a breakup. Dumb bitch responded by sending out this humiliatingly horrible picture of him that he took and sent to her previous to their breakup when they were having trouble. It was so terrible. I, I gotta show you this. It's so sad. <laughs> Seriously, who the hell freaking does that? Who wants to just go ahead and humiliate somebody? Yeah, it's gonna be easy for her to find a boyfriend now. Okay, last but not freaking least, I want you ladies to listen up carefully. This is a long, complicated suggestion, so I really just need you to pay attention to each word. Don't invent a pregnancy. Don't seriously let it go on for months and months. You know, really? That kind of lie is a little hard to keep covered up. Eventually, there's gonna need to be a baby. I know that's complicated, so if you have any questions regarding that suggestion, you can leave a comment, but I hope you get the gist of it. I'm thinking that if you invent a pregnancy, that probably won't work in getting your ex back. Well, that's all. Bye.